Hey everyone, this is Julie. We're out of the house here in Rollett, Texas. Um, we're doing a roof and it's not a um, patio cover. Um, the roof is not simple, so we have to use um, expertise judgment to try to get this one worked out. So let me turn you around and let me show you what's going on. Okay, so on this one, you have like a gable here and every line is like it's not matching up so we have to think about it about three times before we can move on and this is going to be a flat roof that goes over their little bar area Christian say hi, hi. <laughs> And then Nick has started a gable here. Hey, Nick, say hi. How's it going? Enjoying so, this beautiful weather here. Yeah, so Nick, this is the most complicated one you've ever done? For a fact. For a fact. This is not easy. But I love how everybody. he's doing the little black decorative iron stuff. Simpson That's really ties. cool. Huh? They're Simpson ties. Simpson ties. Yeah. And Christian's over there staining, getting everything yeah. pretty. But yeah, this is a very complicated roof. You got a beautiful pool. But as you can see, see how the roof line, you couldn't just put a flat and then a gable because you have something going over here which is all different um, heights. So this is something that the guys are trying to figure out how to get this to work. But I have to say, this looks really pretty. Can't wait till it's finished. But yeah, that's... This is a big one. It's a big project here. Huh? 100% cedar. 100% cedar? How big are the posts? 8 by 8 by 10. 8 by 8 by 10? 8 by 8 by 10. 8 by 8 by 10. I like how you're doing the decorative angles too. Mm. Yeah, that's pretty. And then the here, we call it Peacock, Starburst. Yeah. So basically you're going to have a flat roof um, and then you're going to have um, the gable there and the gable there. On the flat roof, is it just going to be a pergola? Do you know, Christian? Is that is that the way this one's going to be? Just a pergola? Or is that going to be it's gonna have a roof on it. Which a shingle roof? A row roof? Well, that's what that's gonna do. But yeah. Put a water gutter? Yeah. Oh, a downspout? Oh. And then you can put a gutter on the top. Cool. It goes into the house. Oh, this goes into the house? It's into the house. Oh. I have to park and cut into the brick and, to mort and, and through the concrete here. Yeah. And it attaches to the house. It's such oh, a perfect cut. Oh, that's cool. It's sitting in the house. Wait. This is sitting inside the house. You can see from over here. here. Right here. You see how it goes in? Oh, yeah. I'll put my tape in there. Hold on. Right there. Oh, cool, yeah. Huh. 
So it's free time, but it's all the supplies that There you go, Q. See, that's the recap. <laughs> now we just cut this in. Uh -huh. yeah. I really like the big posts. Oh, yeah, I like it massive. better than they're the. Massive. They're eight by eight Canadian. Posts. I like it bigger than I like. I, I like it better than the, the little ones. Brackets, right? Yeah. And it's a double plate. It's a double plate, uh, two by eight header beams, and the hit is just one single plate, two by eight. Rafters are two by six. The rafters are two by six. Two by six boats, eight by eight. Here, two by six or what? On, on sixteen, twenty four, twenty four. This is gonna be really, really nice. We also have a, a landing beam. See that double beam? Yeah. It's gotta be like that because the rafters are gonna come and sit on it. So I cannot have one single one. If you have one single one, it's weak. Oh. You put it double and attach it. You have beautiful boat. Uh -huh. Attach it so it's got weight supporting it. As you can see, it's a double beam. Hmm. Those little black brackets just decorates it. See their pull? Money does. Okay, y'all. So, if you're interested in a patio cover, give us a call 214 846 1096. We're insured and we have tons and tons, tons of references. Give us a call.